Okay, so as you can see, I'm... I'm a touch broke. I did not encourage them. I simply pinned the message. You're the ones who went and hung out on Trovo. Just to see what it was. That's the button I'm looking for. So, uh... Off stream, I spent a whole bunch of time... Crafting up... Yeah, a whole bunch of the items you need to turn in for the various Weaver quests. So that we can... Just do the Weaver quests rather than... Okay, fine. Dev went to Trovo and was talking about Trovo and the things she saw on Trovo that no one else was seeing on Trovo. Trovo. Hashtag not sponsored. Hashtag don't get me anywhere near Trovo. Hashtag why the fuck am I saying hashtag? So we are starting with the level five. I'm going to do this for maybe about an hour. Get through them back so soon. Very well. Let's resume your training. Since last we spoke, you'll doubtless have spent your time making the basic products of our trade, namely yarn and cloth. No, -uh, I made an airship. That that's literally all I did. I made an airship. Now I would have you take such basic products and craft whole garments from them. Make three pairs of hempen breeches and present them for my inspection. You'll be working with hempen cloth and yarn this time, as well as a little bit of leather. Gigam, I can furnish you with materials to help you get started. Uh, but eager as I am to see the fruits of your labor, it would be remiss of me not to mention that there are more economical methods of procuring that which you need. For example, the moko grass from which you have been dutifully, dutifully spinning, making yarn can be freely gathered out in the wilds. That said, one can't simply rip it out of the ground with one's hand. A scythe is needed, as well as a working knowledge of botany. Ain't got neither of those. Have you, perchance, made the acquaintance of a botanist or two? If not, I heartily recommend that you do so. They are attractively earthy without seeming dirty, and useful besides. Having said all of that, I will not accept a newfound passion for botany and its practitioners as an excuse for the late delivery of your breaches. So don't keep me waiting. Okay, um, I got them already though, cause you know, I planned ahead. I take it the breaches are ready. One, two, three. Bad Archon, not bad at all. Style of legwear has never been particularly fashionable, nor has its design changed significantly over the years. Fluctuating lengths aside, but I digress. I wondered if you might try for a variation on the conventional design, but I see you opted for orthodoxy. A wise decision in this case. Temp and clothing is inexpensive and durable, making it popular amongst farmers, miners, and others who work the land. Such customers value comfort and mobility over all else. They may appreciate more elegant forms, but they will not sacrifice function for them. Each garment has a purpose, Archon. A purpose that should always bear in you should always bear in mind. Scalloped hem is about as useful to a miner as nipples on a gladiator's breastplate. Now then, having completed your latest task, I believe you have earned this spinning wheel. Okay. Thanks. Use it in combination with your needle and your work will benefit from it. Saying that, it will of course take you a little while. Hey Candy, welcome in. Happy Friday! It's the weekend! Uh, it will 
of course take you a little while to become accustomed to using the tools together. You need not worry, though. I fully intend to give you ample opportunity to acquire the knack. In fact, I won't be teaching you anything else until you have. By the time that spinning wheel feels like it belongs in your hand, I dare say I'll have thought of a new task for you. Until then, my boy. Certain gear grants bonuses to your craftsmanship control and CP values. Craftman crafting points, I think. A higher craftsmanship rating hastens the progress of synthesis. Greater control increases the chance of creating high quality items. Additional crafting points improves your crafting stamina. Outfitting yourself with an eye to your current objective will increase the efficiency of your crafting endeavors. Yeah, cool. Give me the thing that pays me money. As I'm broke. <laughs> hey, Sakura. Go say hi to Sakura. She does cool art and plays Final Fantasy sometimes. Lollyho! We're way away from Lollyho though. Uh, I think we got another thing. Yeah. Ah, Archon, you'll do. Make me a dozen bites, bolts of undyed hemp and cloth as fast as you can. Note the palpable sense of urgency. Time of, of the essence, my boy. I'm doing good. It's Friday. It's Final Fantasy Day. We're gonna spend some time leveling, or doing my uh, weaver quests and then head back into the MSQ. We urgently need that cloth, Archon. Yeah, good. It's right here. Chill out. Praise Nemea for bringing you here when she did. There wasn't time to explain before, but Sun Silk Tapestries has the honor of supplying the immortal flames. Noble patrons, to be sure, but ones whose needs can be rather difficult to predict. On this particular occasion, a detachment of ale-soaked adventurers from the Foreign Brigade thought the Silver Bazaar an appropriate location for about a fisticuffs, resulting in a pressing need for bandages. Thanks for stopping in. Uh, hopefully the little one decides to go down quickly. Ordinarily, we would not accept such a large commission at short notice, but the Foreign Brigade is a favorite of her grace. It would not do to let the troublemakers suffer, even if they did bring it upon themselves. So your lovingly woven fabric will soon be wrapped around the cracked heads, gnashed knees, and split knuckles of said ruffians. Still, your time hasn't been entirely wasted. I dare say you can now weave hemp and cloth in your sleep, which is a handy talent to have given the fabric's many uses. You've made progress, in short. In fact, I do believe you're ready to undertake commissions. I prefer to I refer to the kind of work doled out by Eustace at the quicksand, of course. It'll be a while yet before you can be entrusted with anything bearing the Sun Silk name. But should you continue to improve at the rate you have been, that glorious day may not be so very far off. Honey, please. Good of you to come, Archon. I happen to have work for you. It's a commission of sorts for one of our regular customers, a gentleman named Wawaruka. Sure appreciation for his continued patronage, I would present him with his choice of bespoke garments. Seek him out on Onyx Lane and offer your services. I know. Remember, Archon, you're representing me, so acquit yourself accordingly. <laughs> 
I want your coat. Give it to me. Where are you, buddy? Where are you, Wawaruka? There you are. You too, Sakura. Hi, I'm Wawaruka. Who's asking? Ah, hells. Big Rose don't go need to go troubling himself on my account. All them gloves and scarves were the, for the guild, not me. Something of a quartermaster around here, see? And the lads go through gear faster than a cobble and chewing on a chunk of mithril. But if the big man insists, it'd be rude not to accept. Now then, I reckon I can do with a new uh, cotton scarf. Aye. And a pair of cotton shepherd slops and all. Ones I've got are on their last legs, see? Been meaning to get round to replacing them. Suspect you'll be wanting me to come to the guild for a fitting, will you? See you there then. And back to the guild we run. boy. Cotton scarf and a pair of cotton shepherd slops. That's all? Well, let's not keep the customer waiting. And I just happened to make it high quality. I didn't even try to. All right then, Archon. Garments are all ready, good sir. Allow me to help you into them. These are bloody, these are nice. Bloody nice. I've never had such fine garments before. Even half your Archon? Big Rose always did know how to train him. Too kind, sir. Pardon me for saying so, sir, but I must confess that I had rather finer raiments in mind when I extend to you this invitation. Should you desire such, I would be honored to make them for you myself. <laughs> thanks, Big Rose, but no thanks. Can't see myself in Philly Whatsits. The mine's where I belong, not some fancy ball. You need a lady on your arm to go to them things. <laughs> That'll be the day, eh? Any road. I'd best get on. Not, But knowing how fast the lads go through gloves, I dare say I'll be back before too long. Thanks again for the duds. to chuck a boat of water. Good work, Archon. Carry on. Money. I spent a lot of money building. So I made up through the level 45 ones. Oh, this one's going to send us off on a little trip, isn't it? Your time has come, Archon. Today you will work on behalf of Sunsilk Tra Tapestries. Your client is heir to a fast fortune. A rare sort of individual in this city, I know. Like many men of means, ever does he seek new Epicurean delights. I can only imagine what he desires this time. Thought it best for you to go and meet with the man yourself, so I've taken the liberty of scheduling an appointment for you at the Sun Silk Tapestry Shop on the Steps of Nald. As I'm sure you're aware, that's on the other side of the city. And men like Mamaraju are not fond of waiting. In short, hurry. Good thing I got these, like, teleporter things to jump around town right quick. Ah. Basically near the other right plaza. Okay. 
Well, if I'm going to be right here anyway, there was something I wanted to do. Let me see if I can, though. That's Mama Raju. Uh, what did you miss? Which one are we on? We're on the level 20, so you missed 5, 10, and 15. Sell something? Yes, you sell it. We have... God, those didn't sell for very much, no, did they? I've got a better one. <sighs> Item comparison, that's what I wanted. Oh, yeah, I'm not in the right one to do that. Should be able to sell the lower needles, though. to get this one both of these two it's gonna be a minute though I guess because like I said I'm broke it'll happen when you uh, make all the items in advance and all you have to do is talk to them no I cannot spare a gill Disgusting parasite. Really, if your kind put half as much effort into finding a job as spending off upstanding. I know there's a. Oh, I can't. Oh, it's unavailable. Not. It doesn't exist. Oh, the weaver. I have total reflex. I've had to fend off far too many beggars this day. I should warn you that I have very specific requirements, which must needs be fulfilled to the letter. I but recently discovered that I possess a prodigious talent for the gladiatorial arts, and I am reliably informed that only the most proper, expertly crafted equipment will allow me to realize my full potential. I want a cotton acton, but not just any. It must be enchanted with materia. The ordinary kind is it fit to be worn only by peasants. Understood? Good. Now then, I believe you have a job to do. Hmm. Um, where'd you go? I had a job to do, but you have interfered with my ability to do it. Better be back at the camp. At the Weaver's Guild. Appearing the moment I'm done talking to you. I had things to do, sir. soon. Tell me, what would our esteemed client have you make for him? Let's see, when did material enhanced garments become essential for gladiators? I wonder. Mayhap the talents of the exceedingly wealthy differ from those of the rest of us. Yes, that must be the way of it. Can you say you didn't even bother to specify what type of material he'd prefer? Feel free to use any kind. I doubt, highly doubt I'll be able to tell the difference. Ah, but a question occurs to me. Are you familiar with Materia? If not, consider paying a visit to the bonfire in central Thanalon. A goblin scholar resides there who is well versed in the ways of Materia. I, meanwhile, am a but a simple weaver. And wholly unversed in the ways of Materia, so you can expect no such wisdom from me. Oh, in this case it wasn't obvious. I'm afraid we shan't be able to provide you with all the necessary materials. I suggest you search the markets. Or you could travel all the way to Vilbrand, I suppose. 
There's no shortage of dodos there. I'll leave the matter in your capable hands, Archon. Okay, but first... That was for what you said earlier. Pray do not keep your honored client waiting any longer than necessary, for both our sakes. Got him his stupid thing. Hey, hey, you need to tell me what you're playing on tabletop first. Hold on, wait, can I tell? Nope, it just says tabletop simulator. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. So you're legitimately using it as a tabletop, like, platform, not to simulate a board game. Okay. Sir, your Acton is ready if you would. Well, it appears to be satisfactory. I only hope it will survive my rigorous training set specimen regimen. I shall have one of my manservants deliver the payment on the morrow. Have fun. In lieu of your customer's gratitude, allow me to express mine. Thank you, Archon. I don't doubt this has been an unenjoyable experience for you, but remember... While we are under no obligation to respect such clients, we must always be seen to respect their wishes. As I suspect you've begun to realize, appearances are akin to reality in this city. It is for this reason that our work is in such great demand. It is, after all, the weaver's task to make the world see the client as the client wishes to be seen. With that in mind, I must congratulate you on a job well done. When I watched that little turd saunter out of here, I almost mistook him for a gladiator. Okay, I like you significantly more than I did five minutes ago. But also... Dude has impeccable taste. That hat is glorious. Glorious. 